Today, drivers got through the first morning commute of lane closures on the Tobin Bridge, but that was the easy part since the lane closures are on the outbound side. Drivers will be dealing with them for another two years. WBZ's Anna Myler has the story. One lane is now officially closed on the Tobin Bridge, and this is just the start of a major rehab project expected to last for the next two years. Terrified. I mean, the traffic's already horrible as it is. Using orange cones, crews closed down the right lane on the northbound side of the Tobin Bridge, and it will stay that way for the next two years. It's a long time. It's a long time. The middle and left lanes will be open to traffic during the day. During overnight hours, only one will be open. It's going to be slow going. I would imagine that most of the drivers on the road are going to be frustrated and aggravated. Next month, the southbound side of the Chelsea Curves area will also be impacted. Officials say these lane closures are necessary to make repairs. This stretch carries about 63,000 vehicles a day and hasn't had a major renovation since the 1970s. And I've, got, I've done the U-turn the and seen the, the corrosion and the, you know, the rust and stuff, so it's not, it's not pretty. I mean, we have to take care of our infrastructure, but, but it's super inconvenient. Mass DOT is urging drivers to build extra time into their commutes, flex their schedules, take public transportation, and seek alternate routes. But commuters are concerned they will all have similar backup plans. And the only alternative for me would be to go 93, and I would imagine that a lot of people have that same plan. Transportation officials say they plan to use accelerated bridge construction techniques like they did on the Com Ave Bridge. However, this project is about 10 times bigger. Reporting in Chelsea, Anna Myler, WBZ News.